Hey, everybody. It's Sean Anson here. It's Shawnee with, with uh, a Shark Hacker Live. We're introducing a new guest today who's joining our team. It's Denise Mann, and I'm so blessed to have her. I'm grateful. Her story is so amazing, and her why is just unbelievable. So welcome aboard. And if you could tell us a little bit about, you know, you mentioned me about, about your father, your children, and why you're doing this. Hey, Sean. Thank you. I'm happy to be here. Um, so basically, my background story is I'm in that sandwich generation where I have some parents that have gone through some things, and then I have my own kids and myself that I'm trying to take care of. So in my situation, my dad has had numerous strokes. He's had some heart conditions. Um, and in that scenario, really, uh, he's not the warrior that we see on your site and on the Stroke Hacker pages. He's, um, I guess, probably more fallen into the victim role. So mom is the caretaker. And I think my perspective on what we do from that perspective is taking care of the caregiver and what we can do there. Um, so that's the limit, I guess, of my stroke experience. But then on a family perspective, I have two boys. Uh, I worked in the corporate world and retired when I had my boys. Uh, one of my boys is on the autism spectrum. So I think in especially reading a lot of what stroke survivors work through and, and trial are a lot of things that, that we've done in our family just with PTs and OTs and sensory processing components. Um, finding new ways to learn um, on a brain that doesn't quite process the same way as your average child's. Um, so we've we fought through some of that. And I think there's a lot of similarities and applications uh, that we could look at. And then finally, you know, taking care of yourself and everybody struggles with with that, especially moms. I think um, I just came off of a foot surgery. So I think looking at what I did in my own home to prepare for um, independence opened my eyes to what a lot of people struggle with in their environments. So those three things kind of added together as you guys have launched this project. I was excited to take a look at how I can better organize the content that you guys are sharing with each other. I think there's so many great pieces of information out there for you know, why recreate the wheel every time you need to research? What do I do to get started? What do I do before somebody comes home? What do I do as a secondary, I've kind of plateaued? How do I keep someone um, energized and active in their recovery? I, I feel like everybody's searching for those things. And what we can do is gather what everyone's already lived through and put that into a concise place on the strokehacker.com website. So, my background, I can blog it, I can organize it, help you guys find resources as far as products, links to things, um, and just facilitate more conversation to make sure we're sharing what everybody's already lived through so that the next people that come behind us, they don't have to recreate that and, and spin their wheels looking for information. It can already be here for them. That's so beautiful. Thank you. I mean, that just summed it all up. I mean, and so you're going to help us with the technology side of it. You'll probably be hosting shows yourself. You'll be interviewing guests and basically taking whatever's left up in my brain and putting it so people can make sense of it. Yeah, I think what uh, what I've started to do, we've kind of gone through some of the great footage you've had from like Bulletproof Labs, mm -hmm. um, some of the other interviews you've had, kind of rescripting them, writing them, um, getting some bullet points so people can kind of skim through a little faster to know, depending what they're looking for, they can find that information easier. So that would be one component. The other component would be, you know, going on to our Facebook group and asking questions, you know, mm -hmm. whether yeah. it's what advice would you give to somebody that's just coming home? What hacks have you right. learned in the kitchen that help you? Um, what would you recommend to a caregiver? You know, we kind of ask those questions, which I right now I'm calling it Tuesday topic. We can, you know, see how that flies. Um, but get on there, ask the question, pull the information together and then blog it. So the next group of people is right there to look at. It's easy to find. That's amazing. I mean, you basically summed it up. I mean, I came home and we were clueless. You know, my dad's a, a doctor, but he was not a brain surgeon, not a, a neuro guy, a OBGYN. So we had to figure this out for ourselves. And no one, you know, you know, the OTs were wonderful. They brought me home, but I moved home so many times. I moved uh, 
around so many times that as what Bill had seen, you know, just how do you use a toothbrush? How do you get into the shower? How do you go from the wheelchair to, to the hemi walker back to walking again? And now, oh, I'm going to get in a car and start to drive. I mean, one of the things I did early on, you'll kind of like you like this, but people ask me how I drove. I got in a golf cart with my dad, and I had to relearn my left and my right. And okay. most people, you know, and so I had to learn the sensory, the sensory signs of that. Just And then I was able to get into the car. And I tell people, give it time. Don't try to rush back to, to driving because it is – it's not worth it. And, and we, mm-hmm. we want to rush, and we want to get back. And we're paralyzed. We're trapped. We're in prison. And it is the hardest thing on the body and the brain as you're trying to wake up. And you nailed it. I mean – I, I have so much love and compassion for guys like your father who are stuck in the why me. Because, listen, I get that still. I mean, uh, yesterday I was having a why me moment. And, you know, Tina Hollins, who's part of our group, texted me this morning. I think she just feel my energy. She goes, Shani, how are you feeling? And we started this, you know, her and I and Bill and Jerry Schultz started this reboot where we're doing this uh, detox for a couple of days. And it didn't really drive with me well. I'm going to redo it and try and keep pushing. But – Something in my psychology, it's so much, it's not just physical, it's like a lo- logical, what goes on inside the brain, that right. we just can't make sense of certain things. And that's why I can relate to autism. You know, we deal with veterans a lot, the PTSD. You know, I've had a show on that too. I'm kind of, you know, going on. But 26 uh, veterans a day are killing themselves, and that's because they are locked and paralyzed in their own brain. And I've had, and, and, and I've had them on my show before. It's all similar, the PTSD, the stroke, the autism, the brain injury. We can relate to all that. So if we're stroke hacking out there, we're going to create these blogs. It's not just for people who suffered a stroke. You know, I've had friends of mine from cancer survivors. I had somebody on the show earlier that, uh, this year who was getting ready to play professional hockey, got hit against the ice, uh, the boards, fell to the ice, fully paralyzed, a quadriplegic on the ice, getting ready to go to the next level play in the NHL. He's 37 now. He, um, he, he basically told me on the show, he said, listen, Shawnee, I wouldn't change anything. I'm married. I have a kid, and, and I'm the CEO of my company. I started crying. I was like, I can't cry about me. This guy's paralyzed, learning to walk again, and if he can do it, we can do it. And that's how we started this whole thing with Tony Baudet and, and Tina and Sarah Paul. I can, I shall, I will, but we're going to do this together. And so I want to say thank you so much for just being part of this show you're wonderful and i look forward to talking to you more and meeting all your kids your husband you know and i want to put your dad on the show too if he's open to it especially your mom because yeah. caregivers are they're so stuck and they need help and I, I and we did shows too it's like if they don't take care of themselves they can't yes. take care of others i watched my whole family go down as as i was coming out of my coma because they were all they felt helpless they felt concerned they all got depressed and they need the support as much as as the survivors do. We're warriors, but the family's got to be there with it too. Absolutely, absolutely. And I so and thank I thank you. Well, I am excited to be here. I know we're going to be doing some fun stuff. Um, you will uh, you'll find my children rather entertaining. If, uh, I, if love I, I love it, I love two hours. <laughs> um, I, you probably have seen my kids on the show a couple of times. I usually do I Thursdays you. with them. And um, you know they're a hoot, and they go off. And kids make me. You know I fight for them. You know I didn't want to. There was a show I did one time where I lined up all my pills. I was ready to check out. I was like, I can't handle this anymore. And thank for God I didn't, you know, because I, I, I want to watch them grow up. And Bill Dignan, who's sitting there next to you, and Jerry Schultz have been so instrumental in helping me push through day by day. Because now that I have a message, we can create other people that have a message. And I think Stroke Hacker is really about teaching others to do this for themselves because I want this community to grow. And, oh, also, too, I've got to ask everybody, please push that share button right now and share this with everyone because we need this, we need everyone to grow we need everyone this is not about us being uh, us being divided this is about us coming together as a group and and we're one big stroke hacker family absolutely absolutely well and i'm excited i am i'm glad to be part of the team uh thank I, you. I think we have some fun stuff coming coming along so well thank, thank you, you. And, and, and then anyways this is uh, uh sean Nansen here with stroke hacker live five minutes uh with shawnee Denise Mann is now our, our new our new chief here. She, she's the commander in chief of our show. So I wanted <laughs> to thank you for coming on board and just just believing in me and Bill and the project as well. Absolutely, I'm excited. Thank you. So thank you. Okay, hon. Enjoy your day. Bye. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. You too. Thank you. Bye. Bye.
Okay. Take that in.